Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, The Kellogg Family. I'm Mandy, and I hope that you guys are having a great day today. I wanted to share a simple recipe with you all today because every time we go to a party or a family function or some kind of gathering, um, if I have people over for dinner, they're always asking me to make my ranch dressing. But the ranch dressing starts out with homemade mayonnaise. And I know a lot of people are a little nervous when it comes to making homemade mayonnaise because it can be an epic fail. But if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix your mayonnaise if you make a disaster of it. So stay tuned to the end and I'll share that tip with you. Um, mayonnaise can be really simple to make. I have found that the easiest way to do it is in a food processor. I have tried making it by hand, <laughs> which took like 45 minutes. I tried it with a um, handheld mixer and that overheated. I've tried it in, um, I feel like I tried it in a blender and that also made it too hot. And the problem with um, an appliance that will heat up or overheat is that the heat causes the emulsification to not happen. So you need your oils mixing in and, and causing that emulsification, which thickens everything up and makes the mayonnaise. So I have found that a food process processor is able to run long enough and not overheat and um, allow for the emulsification process. Um, what I also love about a food processor is that when you have it all put together and you're pouring, you know, your oil, so you have your lid up here, and you're pouring your oil into here, this um, is a cylinder that fits in there, but at the bottom of it has these two holes right here, and I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, this is actually my second food processor, and my first one had these two holes in here. Um, but they were smaller. This one is a little bit, these are a little bit bigger, so I have to be careful with pouring the oil. If you have smaller holes on the bottom, it makes for the uh, oil going into um, the mixture a whole lot easier. Um, I think the hardest thing about making your own mayonnaise is coming down to pouring the oil. You have to pour very, very slowly, and I'll show you, you know, in this process how we do it, but um, very slow pour is the key to making good thick mayonnaise. So um, I think that's all the prep work that I have. Um, the ingredients are super simple. I've got them all laid out right here. This, what I'm going to do today makes a pretty huge batch. I've never measured it out, but it's probably four or five cups of mayonnaise maybe. I'm bad with estimating, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but it will fill this up to about here. So it's a lot. Um, and like I said, from that mayonnaise, I also made the ranch dressing. So to make the mayonnaise, and I'll list this recipe down in the description box, um, I want to say also that, you know, over the years of making my mayonnaise, I've followed different recipes and took tips and tricks from other people. Um, so I can't really say this is my recipe. I just can't say where I got it from either because I've kind of altered it a little bit um, throughout the years, and I've been doing this for about six or seven years. So I always start out with five egg yolks. Um, you can use the, the whites for, you know, omelets or whatever, so you can reuse those, but you only need five egg yolks. They can be um, straight from the countertop, like room temperature, or you can bring them straight from the fridge. I know there's a lot of debate about that, but I've always taken mine out of the fridge if um, I didn't have any sitting on the countertop. So room temperature, refrigerated, it doesn't matter. So five egg yolks. So then you want something acidic. Um, some people use lemon juice. I've always used the Bragg's apple cider vinegar and you use five tablespoons. Then we're gonna use a half a tablespoon of salt and I always use the pink Himalayan sea salt and then half a tablespoon of powdered garlic. The powdered, yeah, pow powdered garlic. And then off, also your um, oil. I use 34 ounces of oil. I buy these two, um, six, almost, they're almost 17 ounces, 17 ounce bottles of light flavored olive oil. You can use organic, you can use, um, also avocado oil is really delicious for this too. So keep that in mind, depending on which kind of um, oils you wanna use. You just don't wanna use, you know, like extra virgin olive oil. You wanna make sure it's the light flavor um, olive oil or avocado oil is just by nature pretty light. Um, so that's it. That's our ingredients. Um, other than that, it's just, like I said, all about the pour. And I'm going to show you how to put everything together and make some really great tasting mayonnaise. Okay, the first thing you want to do is add all of your ingredients except for the oil. So we're going to start with the five egg yolks and put those in to the food processor. 
remember that we are going to be using the blade that fits down inside the food processor, not the blade that fits on top of the food processor under the lid that would shred vegetables and things like that. Next we're going to add in our 5 tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and then our half a tablespoon of pink Himalayan salt. I think I said sea salt earlier but I meant pink Himalayan salt. You can use sea salt if you want to though. And then we're going to add in our garlic powder if you want. You can totally leave this out if you're not a garlic fan, but I am, so we're going to add it. <laughs> I'm going to place our lid on, make sure it's snapped and secure, and then put in our insert here. Mine just has a hard time getting in there, so I have to wrestle with it sometimes. I always like to get the oil over and ready, be poured in. The first thing I like to do is start out the food processor and let it kind of blend for about 30 seconds. That way all of the ingredients that we just put in can kind of blend in and get um, mixed very well before we start pouring the oil in. Alright, and then we're going to start pouring our oil. I hope you can see how thin of a stream, stream that is. It is really, really slow at first. You do not want to over pour here. It will wreck your mayonnaise. So just take your time and pour it super slow and you will end up with some really great mayonnaise. I think this process takes about five to eight minutes. I timed it before. I can't remember which it was, but it seems like it takes around five minutes or so. You should be aiming for that time frame. So just super slow pour here. If you watch the consistency in the food processor, you can see that it's already starting to thicken up a little bit. And what I like to do is I always start the food processor out on low and um, every now and then just kind of give it like a little burst of speed with the next step up. Um, I guess medium is what it would be. I'm not sure there wasn't a speed limit notated on the uh, food processor, but just the next step up. Just kind of give it like a three second burst of speed. It kind of just keeps it all kind of moving and flowing better and, better and then just bring it back down to low. So still keeping a super, super thin pour there and just alternating you know, every minute or so just kind of giving it a little burst. I like to check in there make sure the, the consistency looks well. As soon as it starts thickening up you can make your uh, pour a little heavier and usually by the second bottle is about when you want to start doing that. speed the video up from here because we've got a lot more pouring to do so hang tight and I'll get right back with you as soon as we're done with pouring the oil just keep pouring the slow steady pour until the end and then I'll let you know what you need to do All right, we are at the end of the second bottle. Just get all the rest of the oil poured out of the bottle. And then I like to leave the food processor running just for about 15 to 20 seconds, just to make sure everything gets good and blended. You can kind of alternate it between that slow speed and then the higher speed and then back down to the slow speed. And you'll just see how that helps with mixing it and making it nice and thick. All right, you guys, look at this mayonnaise. See, I told you it made like a whole bunch of it and it is, it's super thick and it is so delicious. All right, so now that we have our mayonnaise made, we're gonna make some ranch dressing. But before we do the ranch dressing, I wanna give you my tip um, in the middle of the video, not even the end of the video. So the tip on if you mess up your mayonnaise, you have you had started the process, you poured in the oil, but maybe you poured the oil in too fast or maybe whatever you were using to make the mayonnaise in um, overheated and now you have this oily, blobby 
mess. It kind of looks like cottage cheese, kind of just liquidy with clumps all in it. And you just get to the end, you poured all your oil in, and it is just a disaster. Don't throw it away. Take out all the messed up mayonnaise, put it into a bowl, and then take one egg yolk and one tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar, put it back into your blender, and you just kind of start the proce process over again, or your food process, or whatever you're using. So you take that one egg yolk, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, start the um, food processor again, get it blended up, and then just take a spoon and kind of just slowly add in your messed up mixture just kind of one blob at a time because it'll be a blobby mess so just slow and i'm not kidding with that oil oil pour you just really have to do it slow so usually by the after the first bottle um it'll start to thicken up and then you can kind of pour a little heavier but it, if you just take your time and be patient with it then you'll have your nice thick mayonnaise so you guys this is very thick mayonnaise it's awesome I will say one thing about mayonnaise, it is very, um, and even store-bought mayonnaise you've seen, if you leave it out on the countertop, the oils will start to separate. So you want to make sure this stays refrigerated if you're not using it. Um, and especially in the summertime, depending on climate changes where you're at. Um, I know in the summertime I've left mine out and I can start to see the oil separate. So you want to get it back into the fridge and I keep it there in between uses. So let's move on to the ranch dressing. This is just my favorite dressing ever um we use it for salads dip chicken in or you know lunch meats in i take it for with vegetable trays to parties all the time and it's super simple to make so i will have to say though there are no exact measurements so you kind of get to make it according to how you like it and how your taste is but i'll give you all the ingredients and you can kind of take it from there so with the mayonnaise i just like to take out Sometimes I'll do half, sometimes a quarter. I don't know, just whatever I feel like we're gonna use. Um, so I'll just take out some of the mayonnaise and put it into a little bowl here. Well, like a medium sized mixing bowl. Or if you wanna use all the mayonnaise for all the ranch, that's fine too. Some people don't even like mayonnaise. Um, this ranch does not taste too mayonnaise-y at all. I know a lot of people ask, does it taste like mayonnaise? A lot of people are afraid of mayonnaise taste, and I get it. Um, but it doesn't, it's, it's actually really delicious. I think the garlic, kind of helps with that so kind of separates the um, standard mayonnaise taste um, but anyway so that's pretty helpful some people like thicker ranches and some people like um, more watery or uh, thinner ranches and just take some water I just got it out of the, the fridge over there it doesn't have to be room temperature or anything just straight out of the fridge and just pour some water in into your mayonnaise and whisk it until you get it to the consistency that you like. And I will say that um, it does thicken up a little bit in the fridge over time. So uh, keep that in mind. You don't, if you don't want it really super um, watery, then you know pour less. You can always thin it out later if you need to. So we're just gonna pour some in this. And if you um, still have mayonnaise over here and you made it a little too, um, thin, then you can add some more mayonnaise back in to thicken it back up. You just want to give it a good whisk. Get all the, um, the lumps out of it. Make it nice and smooth. I think that's a pretty good consistency too. Let me get a spoon so I can show you. <laughs> All right, so that looks like that's a pretty good consistency. That's not super thick. It's not super runny or anything like that. So we'll just go from here. So the next ingredient I like to start with is salt. It can be super easy to over salt this. I don't know what the deal is, but salt just seems to just gravitate to it and pull out that flavor super fast. So start with less salt and then work your way up. So it takes a lot of taste testing and trying, to, trying it out to figure out what you like. So just take some and sprinkle it in. Remember, a little bit less at first. That might have been like a quarter of a teaspoon. Like I said, I'm bad with estimates, so don't take that as the truth <laughs> all right so get that stirred in same thing with the garlic I like a garlicky ranch so um, you don't have to go overboard but just kind of you know put some in then we have some dill this is uh, just dill weed 
dried, obviously. And we're gonna sprinkle some of that. This you tend to use a lot of. You want it to taste nice and pickly. I guess ranch is kind of pickly, and you know you get dill and everything, and also parsley. I forgot to get my parsley out. It kind of makes me want to help. You want to come over here and help? That looks fun. I know Camden likes to help in the kitchen a lot. Here, why don't you pop up here? I need one, two, three. All right. Okay, so we're gonna pour in some parsley. Same thing, just kind of pour some in. You wanna give it a good stir for me, go ahead. And just mix it up really well. I can't wait until you um, make the ranch so that we could um, dip our um, carrots up to the Yeah, carrots. Let's turn it into the ranch now. Yeah, see? Can, can you get around the sides too? I can't wait to taste. There you go. To me, this has always been about kind of like what it looks like. You don't want to sit there and um, when you eat your ranch, you don't want it to be so thick with like parsley and dill that you're chewing it. <laughs> um, you want it to be um, just a really good ranch flavor and it, the dill really just shines in this. Um, so this, just by visually, because I kind of always know what it looks like, definitely needs some more dill. So we'll put some of this in and a little bit more parsley. Like I said, if you keep some mayonnaise set aside, you can always add more mayonnaise back in if you, you know, mess it up or over salt it or anything like that. And it really just comes down to preference. Do you like a lot of garlic? You don't even have to put this in there, but it just makes it delicious, doesn't it? It is good. I love ranch. I feel like we might need a little more salt, but we're going to taste it first to make sure. Um, if y'all can see, I didn't really use a whole lot of water in that at all either. Let's use a spoon too. Mmm, tastes like that. Is that good? Yeah, that's a little liquidy. Alright, let's see. That needs more dill. Let's see, where'd my dill go? Oh, what's the big deal? Yeah. Alright, so we have some more dill. I'm gonna put a little bit more salt in it. Mmm, salty. And a tad bit more garlic. All right, give that a stir. I love stirring up seasoning. Kids obviously like to help with this too. <laughs> yeah, see so now that's looking right. All right, let me hold this up right here. All right, so I don't know if you can see that really well. That looks like some really good ranch dressing. And you can just kind of tell. You know what else we forgot to put in? What? We gotta put the love in there. Every time somebody goes, what is in your ranch dressing? The number one ingredient love so put your love in there I think that's what was missing <laughs> you know if it tastes really good it was made with love right let's see yep that's good mm, good so yummy that is some good ranch I'm gonna get some carrots. all right <laughs> Camden's off to go get some carrots and uh, we've got our ranch made we have some mayonnaise left over for some chicken salad or tuna salad um, another great thing you can do with this mayonnaise is put some um, like hot sauce in it oh, or uh, wing here. sauce in it and add that to um, chicken and make some ch buffalo chicken salad. That is really good too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down in the comments if you tried this recipe and what you thought about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I like to try to problem solve some of these um, recipes. Mm, yummy. And you heard it from this kid, yummy. And he's my picky eater too, but he loves, loves this ranch dressing. So see how ranch brings a family together? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. If dad was here, he'd be eating it too. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video. We have uploads on camping and vlogs and crafts and all kinds of good stuff. There's something for everyone. Also, you can follow us um, on Instagram at the Kellogg family. All right, so we will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.